and happy Jerry Anderson Day 2024. Um, if you don't know who Jerry Anderson is, he's the wonderful, magnificent man behind Captain Scarlet and Thunderbirds. And um, this is kind of an impromptu video, actually. Um, this is being filmed on the day. Hello, we're a bit late, but here we are. Um, Jerry Anderson's been a huge part of my life. Huge part of my life. Huge part of my life for years. Um, you know, and I'm... <laughs> Pretty obsessed. Pretty obsessed with everything he's put out, short of maybe The Protectors, um, which was really my cup of tea. But yeah, I mean, everything from models of Thunderbird 2, to models of the best Thunderbird, which is Thunderbird 3, to, you know, toys of Spectrum vehicles from Captain Scarlet, which keep popping open the bloody lid of the missile bay, because of course they do to even the Mysteron gun, which just kind of fires the Mysteron rings and, you know, so I've been told. I mean, heck, I've bought every major technical manual <laughs> of a show they've done so far, and I'm still asking, still asking for that Terra Hawks one. Pretty please. I bought the Fireball one, I bought the Joe 90 one, I bought the UFO and I bought the, well, and I had the Space 99 one bought for me. And you know what? They're all great. They're all great. But I really want Terror Hawks. But that's not what we're here to discuss. That's not what we're here to discuss. Um, we're just here to discuss a couple of games today. This isn't going to be a particularly long video, maybe like 10 minutes. We'll see, pretty much. Um, just a couple of games I picked up a few years ago that are dreadful. <laughs> they are dreadful. They are dreadful. And they're not what I love about Jerry Anderson's work, be it, you know, Captain Scarlet being this indestructible guy fighting alien, I guess, Earth. <laughs> you know, alien, alien um, jerks from Mars who have come down to Earth, blown up a lot of people um, in acts that are suspiciously similar to today, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> or at least they were 20 years ago, and yeah, I mean, heck, I grew up on the original Captain Scarlet show, I grew up on New Captain Scarlet, which was a CGI reimagining, um, long after the fact, I watched that crap movie from 2009 once and never again, because it was fucking dreadful, um, awful. Awful. Awful in every way. Um, biggest load of crap I've ever seen. <laughs> Short of nativity too. But, you know, I grew up at a time where... You are now a Mr. ...was a huge part of being a kid in, Bra in, in you know, Britain at the time. Uh, if you didn't have Cloud Base, you were a nerd. If you didn't have the giant Tracy Island set as a kid, you were a jerk. You you didn't have it going on rather wonderfully, thanks to my fantastical parents. Um, I had both. And then as I got older, I got rid of them because I'm stupid. And uh, I've since just bought an SPV because who doesn't like an SPV? I don't know. It's kind of indicative of just how goddamn timeless a lot of Jerry's work was. Just how... Much it has impacted different generations. Um, I believe it was Disney. I saw this on their, I saw this on their um, twelve-hour live stream that they're doing today, and I think later on tonight um, they're doing a repeat. Load of new shows, uh, including ones I hadn't seen. So I hadn't seen Dick Spanner. I hadn't seen um, Supercar before. I hadn't seen Full Feather Falls. They're all really good. <laughs> they're all really good. Um, I saw that absolutely insane episode of the Terror Hawks, which is really the technical manual I want, please, um, <laughs> uh, which had this cyborg called Sistar um, giving birth, yeah, um, giving birth to a small half skin, half android baby, which has a cute little girl voice and the German doctor voice. It's like, ah, mein grandmama. And it's like, cool, cool, great, fantastic. Um, unfortunately, Jerry's success in television 
hasn't really translated into video games particularly well. I know that um, Thunderbirds had a couple of Game Boy games circa the early 2000s. Um, there were two released for the ZX Spectrum, which were Thunderbirds, and there were two Thunderhawks games. Sorry, Terrorhawks. Thunderhawks. Two Terrorhawks games also released for the ZX Spectrum. I don't have those. Um, I don't have the Game Boy games, because... No. What I do have, however, are these two. Thunderbirds for the PS2 and Captain Scarlet for the PS2. They are... dreadful. <laughs> they are dreadful in the nicest possible way I can put this. Both produced by a company called Blast, with its dumb little bomb logo. I'm not entirely sure what else Blast has done, but I can guarantee you they're not in business anymore. Um, not after making Thunderbirds the game and Captain Scarlet the game. But, as a kind of top-down Return Fire clone, weirdly enough. Um, yeah, if you've played Return Fire on the 3DO, which I can't see at a moment's glance, so I'm not going to bother grabbing it. Um, if you've played Return Fire, you've kind of played this. It's a top-down, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's top-down. It's top down and it sucks. On the plus side though, on the plus side, you can do different missions, different, you know, international rescue um, operations uh, like the Tower of Inferno. I think that's the name of uh, that excellent episode. And you can fly uh, Thunderbird 1, Thunderbird 2, Thunderbird 3. Ah, oh, my favourite boy. My favourite boy. My favourite boy. Thunderbird 3. And of course, you can fly or pilot Thunderbird 4, which is cool. Um, I don't know how the heck they'd have made Thunderbird 5 playable, quite frankly. It's an odd little game. I played it a little bit uh, this morning just to kind of, just to kind of see how it was, because these have been sat on my shelf for quite a long time, and they are not very good. They are not very good at all. <laughs> I just own them because I'm such a fan of Jerry. I wanted to own something game related. Um, it's not really even for a video like this. I bought this like two years ago for a quid. Um, in fact, I think both of them were just a pound collectively. But of the two, this one's the better one. Logic because Captain Scarlet, yeah, um, you can pilot two vehicles. That's cool. Including everybody's favorite, the SPV. And of course, the Spectrum Patrol car, so the SPC. Which is awesome. Um, I'm a big fan of the way that car looks. That one there, obviously, SPT. And the SPV, two very different things. Never understood why they are sat backwards in the vehicle. But to be fair, I don't think even Jerry knew why they were sat backwards in the vehicle by this point. Um, I, think, <laughs> I just don't think he ever, ever really gave it too much thought. Um, this one, kind of a racing combat game. Um, awful. It's awful. It looks like crap. Um, it looks like crap. It plays like crap. It's just not good. <laughs> it's not good in the slightest. Um, neither of these are, unfortunately. But they come from shows that have such a near and dear place in my heart. Um, especially, especially Scarlet. I love Thunderbirds. Especially three, obviously, but nothing quite beats the kind of inter inter uh, planetary war of wits that um, Spectrum has to deal with in regards to the Mysterons. The Mysteron rings are upon you. So they are very maybe. Can you see that? Are they working? They are too light. It's too light. It's not the greatest toy, but I I bought it anyway because it's cool. Um. Yeah, these are really just for shelf candy. They really are just for me to go, yeah, I've got them. Yeah, they're dreadful. But you know what? It's it's part of my odd little tribute to uh, Jerry and his work. Um, really excited to see that fireball, uh, that firestorm show that they're working on um, over at Anderson Entertainment. If you guys are hiring, let me know. Please. 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 Um, <laughs> but... Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Jerry Anderson. I always have been. Um, I always will be. I mean, I've bought, like, I've bought so many books now. <laughs> I can guarantee, like, even with the cut cutouts. But, 
you know, I'm so looking forward to the new Firestorm show. I think that's going to be really cool. It looks awesome. Um, I'm really looking forward to kind of giving Lavender Castle a watch again. That was a huge part of me growing up. No one else had ever heard of it. Nobody else knew what the hell Lavender Castle was when I was like, yeah, have you seen Lavender Castle? They were like, nah. Nah, never heard of it. What is Lavender Castle? Bit of a shame. But, um, yeah. What are you going to do? Oh, well. I've got these as shelf candy. Admittedly gone off candy, but candy all the same. Uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, happy Jerry Anderson day. Uh, day. If you haven't, um seen any of the stuff on the Jerry Anderson YouTube channel, go watch it. They've got primers for all of the shows, um, including The Protectors and Four Feather, Four Feather Falls, and Torchy, the Torchy the Battery Boy one is just legitimately hilarious. They've got breakdowns of most of the iconic vehicles. Uh, I still think they could have done like a lot more for Fireball. That would have been nice. Would you please? Uh, or some of the locations. That would have been actually that. There you go, guys. If you want to do a new Primer series, do it on the locations. I want to know stuff about Cloud Base. I want to know stuff about Tracy Island. I want to know stuff about Space City. I want to know about uh, Moonbase Alpha and the Moonbase in UFO. All of that. I want to know all of it. Because it'd be really cool. It'd be excellent. That'd be such a good... That'd be such a good thing. The White House in Terrorhawks, which is based in Brazil, yeah, I think. And it opens like that. Which... I mean, if you're making lunch and somebody's got to take off in the ship, you're, it's going everywhere. But anyway, um, yeah, that's it from me. Uh, there will be another video up on, th on uh, Tuesday as normal, but I figured it would just be a nice, a nice thing to do for today. So anyway, that's, uh, that's me signing off.